the UK sampling gauges standard operating procedures for taking samples with the MK7 sampler. This video will cover running, spot and bottom sampling including OBQ and ROB surveys with the sounding rod. Attaching the winder to the vapour control valve. The winder sleeve is loosely coupled so it is easy to screw onto the vapour control valve. The best way to achieve this is to hold up the winder slightly, then screw the sleeve onto the vapour control valve. When on deck and before attaching the winder, always open the vapour control valve for a few seconds to allow any oil to drain back into the tank. Then close the valve and remove the valve cap. After attaching the winder, connect the earthing strap to the valve. How to attach a running spot or bottom sampler to the winder. The same procedure is used for the sounding rod. Unclip the winder from the barrel. Press the telescopic release button and raise the winder. Insert a sampler into the barrel, then lift and push the bayonet connector onto the winder tape. Press the telescopic release button, lower the winder and clip to the barrel. Press the telescopic release button again to ensure the winder is correctly seated in the barrel. You are now ready to take a sample. How to take a spot sample from a specific depth. Attach the spot sampler to the winder. Open the vapour control valve, then wind down the sampler to the specified depth using the counter, which is calibrated in centimetres. At the required depth, jerk the winder handle, which opens the top valve of the sampler. Allow 15 seconds for the sampler to fill. Whilst winding the sampler back up, press and hold the tape wiper. This cleans oil off the tape. Close the vapour control valve. For the purpose of this video, you will see that the top valve is open. It must stay open whilst the oil is drained. Loosen the locking nut and lift up the emptying window. To keep the top valve open, press and hold the plunger. Then, with the spout in the bottle, press the spout downwards to drain the oil. To close the top valve, press down on the spout again, but without pressing the plunger. Taking a running sample. Set the sampler's top valve inlet orifice to the required size using the calibrated scale. This sets the inflow rate of the oil. The sampler holds 500 millilitres of liquid and the industry standard for an acceptable sample is approximately 400 millilitres. As a guide, for light gas oil sampling down to a depth of 12 metres set the inlet orifice size to setting number 2. For heavy fuel oils, depending on the depth, set the size to between 5 and 9, which is fully open. Place the sampler into the winder, 
open the vapour control valve, then lower to the required depth using the counter, which is calibrated in centimetres. At this depth, press and hold the tape wiper and wind the sampler back up. At all times maintain a steady winding rate and do not pause between winding down and winding up. Close the vapour control valve, loosen the locking nut and lift up the emptying window. Press down on the spout to let the oil drain into the bottle. If the captured sample quantity is not between 400 to 450 millilitres, the recommended action is to retake the sample after adjusting the inlet orifice size. Alternatively, using the same inlet orifice setting, adjust your winding speed. How to take a bottom sample The spring-loaded bottom valve of this sampler is adjustable, so it can open at different heights above the bottom of a tank. Place the sampler in the winder and open the vapour control valve. Knowing the depth of the tank, lower the sampler using the counter, then as the sampler approaches the bottom, reduce the winding rate to give it a soft landing. The winder becomes slack when the sampler is on the bottom of the tank. Wait a few seconds for it to fill, then wind it back up, remembering to keep the tape wiper pressed. Close the vapour control valve. Release the clips and raise the winder by pressing the telescopic release knob. Remove the sampler, cleaning as necessary. Then place the top valve into the sample bottle. The liquid will drain out when the bottom valve is pressed in. Close the sampler, gather the equipment and leave behind a clean deck. How to survey onboard quantity before loading and remaining onboard quantity after unloading. The calibrated sounding rod works in a very similar manner to a car's engine oil dipstick. Place the sounding rod into the winder and open the vapour control valve. Knowing the depth of the tank, lower the sounding rod to the bottom using the counter to measure its depth. Then wind it back up remembering to press the tape wiper. Close the vapour control valve and remove the sounding rod from the winder. Make a note of the fluid level against the calibrated scale. Clean the sounding rod, replace in the winder and move on to survey the next tank. Using the MK7 sampler in cold weather. In freezing conditions, the tape can become iced up and it will not move smoothly. Remove the anti-ice knob from the winder casing and spray solvent into the hole. This will enable the tape to move freely.
The MK7 Winder Anti-Jam System How to identify a winder tape jam As the sampler is lowered into the liquid it may stick and possibly damage the tape. To prevent this, the winder has an inbuilt mechanism which engages to prevent the winder handle from continuing to turn in that direction. The anti-jam mechanism also engages when the sampler reaches the bottom of the tank. When using the MK7 sampler on board the vessel Always follow your company's health and safety regulations.